people, my people, <laughs> don't you go threatening me with a good time. You. There you are. You're threatening me with a good time. Now, if you want to threaten me with a good time, what you need to do is uh, bring out a bottle of this baby. It's Australian vodka from Brogan's Way. Yeah, I went and visited my friend Ben. So, no sound of happiness. Screw tops. Why do people do screw tops? It surprises me of the sound of boop. So, yeah, you can see. A good amount of this has been well and truly taste tested, so I'm about to be an informed reviewer. Um, the write-up says that there is salt, bush, and pepper berry in this, and gentle, nutty texture and a sweet, warming note. Okay, so no sound of unhappiness. Okay. Um, So this would be what my fourth Australian vodka. Um, I was drinking this as I learned to do with my vodkas with um, Viva Tree Mediterranean. So and it went down really well, as you can see. A good portion of this has gone missing, and I didn't have any help doing it because I denied all assistance. No, I don't want your help, my darling wife. You you need to go off and do something else. I don't need assistance drinking this gin, this vodka. Now they have kindly put on the back that there is um, wattle seed, pepper berries, and salt bush. Um, pepper berries, yeah, a lot of Australians are waking on pepper berries, genius Tasmania don't do it. Um, not entirely certain of the provenance of salt bush, got a funny feeling that a keener pod, wattle seed, genus acacia, um, about five or six. Wattles in Australia are actually edible. So, obviously, you, they've used them on poisonous varieties. Um, yeah, this obviously went really very well in a, um, in a vodka and tonic. Look at does what it promises to do, okay? Um, I'm sorry, I am two or three reviews in today. So this is the reason why you're more likely seeing <laughs> really smashed Odin, who has to actually go off and do his proper job later, which means I'm gonna be resting. Um, I have yet to come across anything from Brogan's Way that I dislike, okay? Um, I like the venue, I like Ben, who is the brand ambassador, um, and pretty well everything that they've made from the Salvation to their strawberries and cream to their um, the Navy version, which is uh, hot, whatever, sorry, alcohol and handicap happening right in the moment. Um, Bregan's Way produces just great stuff. And this vodka, which is their first, one of, I think there's two vodkas, there's another one that's actually um, got honey involved locally, which meant produced honey. I intend to go off and pat pen for that because, dude, you promised. Um, yeah, this will make a great drink. Um, drink it on the rocks, you know, do it, do the doctor says, drink it on the rocks, drink it when you can, drink it with Sam. I am, um, drink it, um, in a tonic, drink it with a um, vodka sunrise, some screwdriver, whatever you want. Just, um, this is going to make absolutely fantastic drinking. It's Oh, I was going to say it stamps up more appealing than the um, artwork on the bottle is, but look, that's that's fine. It's a perfectly workable bottle. It is a more than workable vodka. Um, and I actually find it, on a side note, quite interesting that vodkas used to be very much what Port Phillip Vodka is, Port Phillip Distillery's premium vodka is, which is a very smooth drinking, almost anonymous spirit. And I've tried a couple of, well, an Indian made vodka and then a vodka made by an Indian um, and these people are turning around saying look um, they're, they're like they're following Absolute Sleeve where vodka Absolute you know, does um, vanilla vodka which I think is just completely vile 
um, and they do you know, great food. So there's a whole lot of flavor brokers in Australia seem to be following that. But by using native botanicals like we do in our gins, they're actually producing something extremely drinkable. And that should be noted. Um, it's unique, it's incredibly drinkable. And I think this set them back about $80. And I can see this being paired really well with a lazy Sunday afternoon, just bring out a bottle or two of this with friends, sit back and have your IQs lowered. Um, or if it's a screaming hot, uh, 40 degree day with that blast furnace coming out of the north as it does in Melbourne um, it's going to be a wonderful way to remove a whole lot of discomfort uh, in fact I can see me picking up three or four bottles of this um, and well and truly being lobotomized on a hot summer's day with this baby so thank you people my people um, this has almost smashed me hope you're enjoying it um, and there is as a side note talk of um, Chantel and um, Blanche coming in as well as Odette. It's getting into drinking weather, it's getting into the silly season, so I might as well go ahead and get pretty silly. But my co-host in. Chin Chin, drink this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I can, you had enough. Catch up, subscribe, like, share. Just keep on being my people, my people. <laughs>